Hey guys, I'm Hendreen and welcome to AG Clayway Studio. I'm so excited to show you guys what we're making today. We're making one of my most favorite designs. I do this one quite a bit and it's my Baobab design. Here is the original pen drawing that I did back in 2017. Yeah, it was October 2017 and I take this design and I carve it out on a platter. I don't make the platter on the wheel. I actually do it in a mold. And then I put some manganese oxide and it looks beautiful. So I'm very excited for this one today. I don't you obviously this is the original, but I make photocopies of the original. If I had to sit there and draw this from scratch, I'd probably be there forever. So I'm just going to trace it on because I've already drawn it. The inspiration is actually from when I was little because my brother and I used to love playing on the baobabs on the farm where we used to go and have our holidays. And it wasn't actually one baobab, it was two baobabs that grew together and they interlinked and as they grew, it went like this and it was absolutely beautiful and it was almost like a bit of a jungle gym because the baobab at the bottom, the roots were quite big so you'd be like over, under, over, under and you couldn't climb too high, obviously. Somewhere, I do have a photo of the interlinking baobab. I just need to see if I can find it. I think I took it on one of those disposable cameras that we had back in the early 1990s. Didn't you just love those disposable cameras for those that can remember them? Oh my gosh, you take a photo and then finish the reel, then you have to wait to get it developed. And then when it comes back, you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? Or I don't even know what I was taking photos of. Cause obviously we were little kids back then playing with these, with these disposable cameras. But yeah, we actually used to line up our dinosaurs, our play dinosaurs and take photos of our dinosaurs. We do like little photo ops. Yeah, I need to find those photos actually.
it sounds like it wants to rain outside and the lighting is getting pretty bad on that side so i've moved to this side i just had to move some other things away quick little fact i actually looked up what was the oldest baobab in the world and the oldest one was 2450 years old and was in zimbabwe but unfortunately it died in 2011. There are so many different names for the Baobabs though. It's very confusing. I'm not even gonna attempt to try and say what this one is called. It's just a Baobab. It started raining. Little tip, trace your stuff onto your clay bodies if you're struggling to draw. I love drawing, but I want it to look exactly like this, and that's why I traced it on. I fill in the extra tiny little lines I fill in later, which I'm doing now. But the basic outline, I want the same, because that's the product the person wanted, because that's the plate that they saw. But have fun with it. I really, really, really like this tool. It's, I'm like squinting. It's a little bit thicker. Can you guys see it? It's focusing. Focus. Focus new, but I like the fact that it gives nice thick lines. The pin tool is great and all for the intricate little little details, but I really, really, really like this tool. I think I got it from my grandma from her wooden tool set. Thanks, grandma! It's all done! Yay! I just need to quickly trim these edges and make it look really nice. But I do have an extra one in the studio. I just need to find it so I can show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. When I've added the manganese oxide and everything. It looks really, really good actually. Right, so that means that there was a shrinkage of 3.5 centimeters. Well, there will be because obviously I'm using one that I've done before, but it's the same size. So technically it should be, it should come out as 35 centimeters. Here's hoping, we'll see what happens. The glaze one looks really, really good. I put manganese oxide in it, wiped it clean, and then just glazed it in transparent. It looks really, really good. I really love this design. Like I've said before, it's one of my favorites. I think I should take a photo of them side by side. I think that is a good idea. Yes, let me do that. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fabulous week. Bye.